Taking a look at some health news, now, health news back in our area, to the dismay of many kids, the summer is drawing to a close, and as the school year approaches, it's time for parents and their children to focus on important health and safety issues when heading back to school. Nicole Israel reports. Getting the kids back through the school doors may be a process in and of itself, but what about the dizzying number of immunizations, prescriptions, and safety precautions each child needs to know as September approaches? For some help, we went to Dr. Michael Bissett, director of the Jersey City Medical Center's Emergency Department, who simplifies that checklist, starting with the appropriate immunizations each child needs to have. It's very important that you check in with your pediatrician and make sure that your immunizations are up to date. Uh, the most important ones that the schools are looking for are uh, diphtheria, pertussis, and, tet and tetanus, as well as uh, measles, mump and mumps, and rubella. Also, when you're 18, it's not a bad idea to uh, ask your pediatrician to make sure that your hepatitis uh, immunizations were effective. Uh, this means that they will uh, do a blood test to uh, check for your uh, antibody levels to make sure that the immunizations are still working in your system. The American College of Emergency Physicians suggests parents update their children's medical history records and emergency medical contact information each year and give copies of this information to schools or daycare providers. Dr. Bissett also advises parents to alert school officials if their child has a chronic illness and will require special attention. If you are participating in sports, make sure you tell your pediatrician about that uh, so that he makes sure that you are healthy enough to participate in sports. Uh, if you do have any regular medical problems, uh, the school needs to know about those. Uh, regular medications all have to be registered with the school nurse. But there are also precautionary steps each parent and student can take, especially during the pre- and post-rush hours of the school day. The most important thing during the school year are accidents. It's very important that you're observant of traffic laws, make sure that you wear your safety helmet uh, while you're on your scooter or skateboard or bicycle. Also be very careful crossing the street, make good use of the crossing guards, that's what they're there for. And uh, always, of course, wear your seatbelt when you're traveling uh, to and from any location in a vehicle. In addition, Dr. Bissett recommends parents make sure their children's school has an emergency plan in place and that parents complete a consent to treat form. A copy of the form should be given to school officials or daycare providers. Even though a child will always receive life-saving treatment, this form gives a physician permission to treat your child for less serious medical problems while in someone else's care. Reporting from Jersey City, this is Nicole Israel for WMBC News.